When calculating the number needed to treat, there are four values that we need to know. The number of people who received therapy A and developed the condition. The total number of people who received therapy A. The number of people who received therapy B and developed the condition. And the total number of people who received therapy B. When we have the necessary values, we can calculate the number needed to treat by dividing 1 by the absolute risk reduction, which is the difference in incidence of the condition between those who received therapy B, C over C plus D, and those who received therapy A, A over A plus B. Now let's try a quick example. Let's say that in a clinical trial involving 500 people, 200 received therapy A and 300 received therapy B. By the end of the trial, 95 people who received therapy A developed a condition of interest, while 180 people who received therapy B also developed a condition. The incidence of the condition in those who received therapy A is 95 over 200, which is 47.5%, whereas the incidence of the condition in those who received therapy B is 180 over 300, which is 60%. By subtracting the incidence of the condition in those who received therapy B, by the incidence of the condition in those who received therapy A, we find that the absolute risk reduction is 12.5%. Now to calculate the number needed to treat, we need to find the inverse of that value. So by dividing 1 by 0 0.125, we find that the number needed to treat is 8.